All right, how we doing, people? I just bought a Logitech G920 racing wheel. Also, the G29 is compatible. Same thing for PlayStation. Just wanted to show you my experience with uh, trying to mount this puppy on my desk. Now, unfortunately, I've got a strange desk. It's uh, tapered off here on the side. It's not a uh, straight L or square shaped. So no matter what I did trying to tighten this thing on, it just would not stay tight at all this is with it cranked down all the way here so you see right where it needs to get that uh, bracket on there it's just not doing it for that so my options were take it back or try something else or whatever so I just decided I was going to try to drill this thing and mount it on there with a drill so the problem I ran into is um, with the Logitech you don't get any sort of mounting brackets or screws or braces or anything so I didn't really know where to start but luckily I found this uh, template or stencil I guess you'd call it let me just show you what this is I'll put the link in the description but if you just google uh, Logitech G920 stencil this will typically come up but once you get this downloaded it's going to be this uh, stencil here let me just show you what this is all right basically if you're looking at this stencil it is going to be a side view of your racing wheel just like that okay so that's what we're looking at so you got your your bracket there and then that's going to be the uh, front of it steering wheel is up there but it's not shown in this uh, graphic so what we're looking at is this formula they got down here for us so I guess your length is whatever T is plus 15 mill millimeters this is going to be the 15 millimeter part that goes up into the steering wheel so what it's saying is you need to take the length of your desk and that's going to figure out what kind of uh, screw you need or bolt to get it in so for instance when i measured my desk it was almost three quarters of an inch so just convert that over to millimeters and then you're looking at the 15 so i ended up going with a 40 millimeter screw and it tells you right here what kind you need so you're going to need a um, M6 by 1 screw. And if you go to Lowe's, you'll see, you'll find the metric section and you get your uh, M6. And then the uh, 40, that's going to be the, the actual length of it in millimeters. Okay. So again, if my desk, the part that's going to get on it, get mounted is about 3 quarters of an inch, then you want to look up there, that's about 20 millimeters. So 20 plus the 15 is about 35. So I went ahead and erred on the side of caution and went to 40. And let me just show you why. You can definitely go longer than you uh, want to risk going shorter. Let me show you. If we're looking at the bottom of this wheel, these are going to be your two mounting bracket holes. So it just, the only just a small bit of it is actually threaded and after that it just goes way back up in there so if I take this paper clip I can show you how far in there this thing goes just all the way so you got all that extra uh, space and length and everything and if I measure that it's almost like a full you know 90 80 90 millimeters that it goes far in there so you got plenty of room to go long so don't worry about your screw so again, just go a little bit extra on the length there, and I think you'll be okay. And just to iterate on that point, you can see the, the whole 40 millimeter screw. I just screwed that all the way in, and it had plenty of, plenty of room to spare. So that's how you figure out the, side, the length of your screw, and then what kind to get the M6. So now we're going to actually do the drilling part on my desk here. And that's going to involve the stencil again. So we're going to print this out. And when you print it out, just uh, do a typical size paper, make sure it's not zoomed to fit or anything. And then it will actually print uh, and with the exact measurements of what you need. And then what I did was actually tape that onto a hard uh, piece of cardboard just so I had a good straight edge. It wasn't going to move around. And let me show you what that is. Okay, so this is the stencil that I've got on a uh, nice piece of cardboard here. I've got that duct tape on there. And this is going to be it printed off. So what you're looking, and if you want to measure that to make sure, just take your ruler and uh, measure these two points. 
and if it's 68 millimeter then you'll know you printed it correctly without zooming in or fitting it or whatever and that way you know it's uh, the exact measurement now I went ahead and drew a line in between those and then I bisected that or whatever you call it just so I know where the center of this is okay and then I'm gonna get the center of my actual desk here which I marked once I measured it like right here so what you do you're just gonna put your stencil up here and you're gonna push that up to the desk. On a straight desk, it's probably a lot easier to get measured up. So what I did was ended up using, I and mean, I used a uh, straighter edge to, to measure this. Let me just show you. All right, I got this piece of cardboard box top that's pretty straight and pretty sturdy. So I'm just gonna push that up against my desk, make sure that it's uh, on there. And then I'm gonna take the stencil, I know you can't really see that too well, push it all the way in there and then that makes sure it's uh, on the edge. So it is a lot easier to do when you're not trying to film. But once you get that on there, you can actually tape that to your desk if you want with uh, extra duct tape or just put something heavy on it to where it's not gonna move. All right, when you've got that, you're gonna see where those two holes are. So you can just use a little knife or razor or something and push in there and that's gonna mark where you're gonna actually do the drilling, okay? Now I've already done the drilling, so um, what you're gonna do when you get ready for that part is for the M6 bolt, this is the size drill bit you need. So it's a 15 by 64 inch, and then you see right under there, it's like six millimeter. So it's gonna look about, about like that. So just go ahead and drill your two holes, and I'll show you, it's not, uh, it's not that bad on your desk here. Get my keyboard out of the way. So you just got your two holes lined up right where that was. And uh, I took a little low grade uh, sandpaper real fine and just kind of went over that. And really, you, you don't even feel that too much. So it's really not that bad when you're looking at your whole desk setup, you know. And hey, us, us gamers, we have to make little sacrifices like this. So it's no big deal. And usually when I'm, my keyboard's in its normal spot, they usually the wrist rest covers that up or my cup of coffee or whatever. So it's really not that bad. Of course, you wouldn't want to do this to your wife's desk. She'd be freaking out. But um, it's really not that big a deal, especially after you sand it over a little bit. And let me show you what the uh, final product's going to look like here. All right, so there's the two screws, and they're coming in from the bottom. I don't know if you can see that with no light there, but uh, it's a pretty snug fit. It's uh, So it can kind of stay there, so you can use that to put your steel wool up there. And, um, like again easier to do when you're not filming but crank it on there let me uh, go ahead and tighten it down off camera here okay so we got this on now let me just show you a couple of screws under there now I used a electric screwdriver just to get it on there real quick um, hadn't really tightened it down too much but as you see I don't even have these tightened down with this part yet and this thing is still very sturdy just with those two screws. So I don't even know if you really need those, but I'll go ahead and use them anyway. So that's how it's gonna be with those two in the future here is, I think I'm gonna order me some of these uh, knurled or threaded clamping knobs. Uh, I guess you could call them thumb screws, but uh, same thing on, on Amazon, they're called M6 and you can get whatever length you want. I got the 40s, just like the ones I got here. So that way I can just uh, easily crank them on with my um, hand and not have to use the electric screwdriver each time. But it was pretty easy to get that on once you get the screws in there. So it'll be easy to take on and off as I go from work to game and back. So anyway, hope that helped. Um, like I said, I couldn't find any uh, documentation on the exact measurements and all. So that's what I used and it seemed to work pretty good. Pretty, uh, pretty quick little project, a couple hours, trip to Lowe's. So no big deal. Anybody ought to be able to do that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll uh, try to get those answered. And happy gaming. Thanks.